Welcome back to another Whiskey Quickie, and we've got another kind of uh, stogie influence one here. So if you're a big cigar person, you might be interested to know about Buzzard's Roost Cigar Rye. So we haven't released the podcast yet, or maybe it's going to be somewhat coming out with this, but we've talked to Jason Bronner a few times. He's the proprietor, the guy that started Bourbon's Bistro. He came out with his own type of whiskey called Buzzard's Roost, where he had been sourcing from MGP for the very longest time, but his kind of spin on it is he has these proprietary barrels that he's been doing different kind of toasting, different kinds of, I don't even know if he's Chars, like, different. Show, he's, I mean, you didn't name it. He's just doing you know, all He's working with ISC to create his own like magical staves. Pretty much magic staves. Yep. There we go. And so this one is going into a little bit layer different. So what he's doing is he chose a four-year-old Indiana rye. Of course, we mentioned MGP. And it's finishing in char one barrels, which were toasted to coax out flavors that would pair well with an aged cigar tobacco. So only three barrels were produced of this. Uh, as we mentioned, it's a rye from MGP, so it's a 95.5 mash bill. It is 105 proof, non-age dated, and has a price tag of $75. Hmm. All right. I'm trying to remember from our cigar episode way back in the day how they it's been a while. What they talked about what cigars to pair. I mean, what bourbons to pair with cigars, whatnot. I'm not one to tell you. I'm not a big cigar person. I'll smoke every once in a while, but I'm not a pairing person when it comes to cigars. I'm not either. We'll just I'll try one and be like, yeah, that was enjoyable. Yummy. <laughs> I get to taste it for three days. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Now I have to shower and brush my teeth 10 times. All right. So I want the taste here or on the nose. Hmm. So the rye really kind of shows through. Yeah. You get that strong citrusy, uh, lemon pine kind of note that I'm used to with the, the Indiana Rye's. Yeah. I was expecting to get more of a, like a tobacco, leather, something like that. Well, I think this is to pair with and not I taste know. like a cigar. So maybe it would, you know, you, you need that fruitiness to kind of balance the smoke of the cigar. That's true. Whereas if you had smoke on smoke, it might be too much smoke. Double smoke. Double smoke. <laughs> All right. Yeah. No double smokes. All right. Well, on with the taste then. There's that smoke <laughs> or char. It's more of a there's kind of like a charcoal flavor that you get like from uh you know when you eat like grilled meats that you get that nice which I love. I love yeah, charcoal. Yeah, that, that kind flavor. of just that just that small little crisp layer or whatever mm -hmm. it is. Yeah. Yeah, there's uh do, do you able to do your grill grates? You got them you get the perfect X's when you go across yours. Uh, no, I don't pay attention enough no? to okay. <laughs> I'm just like whatever, flip it. <laughs> it's ready, but uh no, there's uh, nice citrus notes on the front end, and then it opens up into those nice char charcoal notes um, that, that I'm liking. Yeah, and there is like that, that heavy rye spice to it, and you definitely get that on the first taste. But as the finish starts, that's when you start getting a little bit of that leather, a little bit of that kind of mm -hmm. like deeper, richer character that you would think might come out of like an older bourbon. Totally. That is somehow just kind of like, it just kind of like just carries along in the back. It's a little bit different. Yeah. It's got some nice, really strong citrus notes on the front, but then it opens up in that. The, it, I would say, I would think this is much older than four years um, based on the, the barrel notes you're getting. For sure. Yep. Well, let's go ahead and rate it. So on the nose, where are you at? Sideways. I was wanting a little bit more umph out of the nose, but uh, it's a pretty standard like MGP rod and mash build nose for me. Totally agree. But on the taste... I liked it. Thumbs up. I I'd mean, so that, I mean, it was a perfect balance of like those citrus notes and then that nice char cold note and smoke. It, it wasn't smoke, but whatever finished it up. Yeah, whatever. End. It was just like there's something on the back end that really rounds it out and makes it like really nice on the palate. Totally agree. And the finish. Thumbs up. I mean, it's still going. There's a nice spice, but that nice charcoal flavor. Like I can just it's enjoyable. Like I can let it just sit there. You know, I don't have to rush back and get another sip. I, I, I like just letting it sit here. No, I feel like then you get like a Monte Cristo or a, um, that's right. A part partigas, partigas, D4, something like uh, that. Just something to try with this. To see de Monterey or something. I don't, I don't know. know. Why am I trying to talk yeah. like Spanish? Uh, but I was going to say Bellissimo, but that's, that's Italian. Italian. That's yeah. for sure. Well, we'll just cop, we'll just stop it there then. Yep. But that is our review of Buzzard's Roost Cigar. What was it? Sorry. Uh, cigar Rye. Yeah, I had it right the first time. 
But with that, cheers, everybody. We'll see you next time.